What is it? It's our special Darkestville Mint. Just smell the minty scent. Cool. That'll surely enhance my mojito. Let me try it. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, now it's much better. Mm. That was a pretty good taste. And the texture was good, too. It was extra soft. Premium quality. Only the best of the best. Thanks. May I return the glass to the tavern for you? Yeah, sure. Why not? Thank you again. Press. Even if that coat is old, and full of holes, and stinks. It's screwed to the bicycle. Come to me, my instrument of eternal terror. In this bench, I deployed a trap. The problem is, I don't recall what kind of trap it was. Take it, birdie birdie. Ah, oh, now I recall. I put an explosive charge on this bench. Well, those third degree burns will teach that pigeon not to accept gifts from strangers. And eh, why not? Two million more of those, and I can make myself a new pillow. A great idea. Wanna give this a try? What is it? It's our special local beer. Let me try it! Mm. <clears throat> ah, this beer is too soft. It tastes almost like water. I think... See what we can find in his pockets. Ah, here it is. One of the keys of the demon chest. One step closer to freeing Domingo. It is Walrus's lucky charm. It didn't bring him that much luck, did it? That darn dog is guarding his neighborhood. If I walk past his house, he will bite me. Or shoot me. That's Ruffo, the guard dog. He seems to be sleeping, but as soon as any stranger walks past his house, he attacks. Sadly, I fall in the stranger category. Who's a good boy, Ruffo? Who's a good boy? <laughs> Okay, I get it. You don't want me to go there. I didn't want to go there anyway. Good doggy. Good doggy. Blasted dog. Good doggy. Good doggy. Blasted dog. 
Presto! It fits perfectly. I can't talk to that. I can't talk... What do you expect? It's full of trash. Ha! In your face, dog. Are you barking? Sorry, I can't hear you. Ah, victory is so sweet. Now that I think about it, why did I want to come here in the first place? It's a red mailbox. Do you know that it's a crime to read other people's mail? I was joking. The mailbox is empty. I'll take the giant mutant chicken leg. It'll be handy if I need to scratch my back. It reads, Hot Dog Wagon of the Flavor, because life is too short to care about food poisoning. Who are the cutest horses ever? Who are? <laughs> what? You don't want me to take it? I'll just take a few. Okay, just two, okay? It's Pedro, the owner of the hot dog wagon. A man who travels the world. A man without a home. A man without fear. A man without any semblance of personal hygiene. Hi. Hello, Sid. How's the evil doing going? Ah, uh, tonight is kind of a tough night. Dan Teapot called some demon hunters. Demon hunters? I don't like them. They never buy anything. Good luck fighting them. Pedro, how is business going? Unbelievable. Is that bad or good? Bad. I ran out of my special marinara sauce. I have to replace it with the new clam ink sauce, but no one likes it. It looks like regular ink. Because that's what it is. What about your other sauces? They're just props to give the impression of variety. Neat trick, isn't it? I know, I know, I'm a genius. You don't have to say it. I am a marketing devil. Can you give me some of that ink sauce? I need it for my hot dogs, you'll see. A hot dog without any sauce isn't the same, but let's do something. I will give you all of it if you help me do some marinara sauce. What do you need to make marinara sauce? I need something with a special touch of sophistication. Like what exactly? I don't know. Something that stinks the right way. Don't you have one of your special promotions? Yes. When you buy your hot dog, you get up to two free diseases. That sounds terrible. Can I at least choose them? No. They're random. But that's part of the fun. One hot dog, please. Sure. Wait a minute. You don't have any money, don't you? Well, not at the moment. Sorry, Sid, I have a business to run. I can't give you a free hot dog. Do you accept evil card? Sorry, pal. Only money. Goodbye. See you later. And remember, we are open all night. It's full of holes and stinks. I wonder why I haven't burnt the thing already. Hey, that's exactly what I was looking for to make my marinara sauce. It smells perfectly. But please keep the secret. I don't want people to start copying my secret sauce. May I have your clam ink sauce now? Of course. I don't need it anymore. Awesome. Great. Now I have a quill and ink. Uncle Tim, you are a great person. Thank you for teaching us that being attached to small, silly material things and hand grenades don't mix well. Here lies one of the Benson triplets. You will be remembered for the astonishing similarities with your brothers, not only on looks, 
but also on the lack of criteria at handling explosives. Yeah. Here lies one of the Benson triplets. Here lies one of the Benson. It's the cemetery crypt. It's too dark to see inside there, and the crypt ladder steps are too tall. Which is a terrible combination. Or a perfect combination if you're planning to throw someone through the ladder. People used to stumble on the route below and fall through the crypt stairs, so the cemetery administrator decided to build this wooden ramp. People still fall through the crypt stairs, but only on the days I wax the ramp. Your name will always be remembered. Tall guy who used to cough a lot at the tavern. Charles, you taught us that you should follow your dreams no matter what. Too bad your dream was to stop cargo trains at full speed with your chin. We will miss you. Remember me as the non-bald great man I was. Gonzo Smith, doctor, lawyer, adventurer, good husband, dragon slayer, and king of the East Kingdom. The Compulsive Liar support group will not be the same without you. Hello! Who goes there? Oh, it is you! Dan Teapot, right? Yeah, yeah, you are totally right. I'm him, I mean it's me, Dan. And you are? I'm Mongoose Romero, the lightning of the Romero brothers. How did you recognize me? Because I'm totally Dan Teapot. Well, you told us you'd be wearing a distinctive hat. Ah, uh, yes, of course, my hat. In my opinion, it would have been easier to recognize you if we knew that you're constantly wearing a weird smiley mask. By the way, why are you wearing that mask? Oh yeah, a mask. That's because I'm a really shy guy. I can't talk with strangers if I'm not wearing my mask. I have mental issues. Mental problems, of course. That explains the payment in advance. What are you doing in the middle of the night at the cemetery? Me. Training, of course. We must always be ready for battle. You never know when you're going to find a ghost, a demon, or worse. It could be the Big Pie Raptor. The Big Pie Raptor? Where? Oh, so you've never heard of him. The Big Pie Raptor is a maniacal purple velociraptor that throws apple pies at unsuspecting people. It doesn't sound that threatening. You say that now, my lad, but if one night you're all alone in a dark alley, and you perceive a shadowy reptilian figure running, and the foul stench of apple pie infects the air, you'd better not come crying to me. But... I understand you. I was once like you, a reckless young man. I also didn't believe in the big pie raptor, until that sad night. I remember it as if it were yesterday. I was going to a dance party with my brand new white suit. When I saw him, it was already too late. I already had three apple pies all over me. I tried all kinds of stain removers, but nothing worked. But one day, one day I will have my revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. Whatever you say, bub. Just calm down. About that demon I hired you to hunt for. Where is it? Oh, that. It's in our demon chest. But don't worry, it will not be bothering you again. It's locked with three locks, and each of us is guarding a different key. There's no way it can be opened without our unanimous consent. Do you have any idea where the rest of your team is? I guess that Walrus is in the tavern, drinking. And Foxy, she had an appointment with the mayor of Darkestville. I guess she had to do some paperwork. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye, and stay vigilant. It's a pile of bones with two lovely skulls on top of them. Ha! Maybe I can take a bone. Yeah! Forget about the skulls. They could bite me.
Mark some footprints with this chicken leg. Just hang in there. This could take some time. Presto! The chicken leg is all muddy now. I'd better discard it. Ha! Ha! I only have to wait until someone walks over it. Hello? What's up, Dan? Hurry! I just saw the big pie raptor! Look at his footprints! Sorry, pal, but I will not fall for... Oh my goodness! It is true! They are pointing directly to the crypt! At last, I have you cornered, you apple-scented scum! A master of deception. <laughs> I saw it first. I found a key inside this wallet. Ah, this wallet has no money. What a shame. I've struck terror into the heart of the people of Darkestville. You want to kill me from a heart attack? Give me that thing, and don't you ever dare do that again. Who would have believed that Darkestville Castle had a political agenda? It was a lot of creative work, but now the mayor has a much better agenda. Not only does he have an appointment with me, but by next Saturday, we will declare war with three different countries. I used all the ink, so I'll discard the quill. I don't think I'm going to need it anymore anyway. I will leave this here. Hey, you found it. Thank you, dear. I was looking for this agenda all this time. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. I have an appointment with the mayor right now. Oh, really? Let me check that. Oh, it's true. And according to this is indeed right now. Well, I will inform the mayor about it. Give me a minute, my dear. Mr. Mayor? Yes. I have someone here waiting to talk with you. Yes, he has an appointment. For... right now. It's marked as urgent. Okay, I will tell him. Hello? I would... G get out! I, I, I'm expecting someone important. But I... Get out! I'll talk with you later. I'm not sure if she has a real tail or if it's some kind of gimmick. She looks nice, though. Hello? Hi, Dan, right? Dan Teapot? Apparently. And you are? I'm Boxy. Foxy Romero? I replied to your letters about hiring us. Ah, oh, yes, yes, of course. How did you reach the obvious conclusion that I'm Dan Teapot? 
Well, you told me in your letters that you had a big charming smile. Oh, of course. Also, you told me you were a tall and skinny guy. Charming smile, tall and skinny? Seems that Dan's having serious perception problems about himself. What? Nothing, nothing, just talking to myself. What a weird looking chest. What's inside it? There's the demon you hired us to hunt. Well, not only him. Also, all the demons that we've been hunting for years. You'll see. This is not an ordinary chest. It contains a pocket dimension in its interior. Interesting. And what if someone accidentally left the chest open and let loose all those demons? You don't have to worry about it. This chest is locked with three locks. Each Romero has a key, so the chest can't be opened without our express consent. I see. Why are you at the mayor's house? I was presenting our papers to the local authorities. We don't want any trouble with the law. And the rest of the team? Walrus is at the tavern, and Mongoose is training at the cemetery. So, hypothetically, since you're all scattered, if someone wanted to attack your team, this would be the best moment, right? I guess. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> what? Mm, nothing. <laughs> and don't you want to lift that non-cursed golden goblet? No. Why? What? That was a pretty random comment. Really? I thought it was a pretty good way to follow a conversation. And why did you mention it was a non-cursed goblet? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I did not. I was just pointing out that the goblet over there would look pretty good in your hands and that there is no gypsy curse to be worried about. You did it again! Nope. Yes, you just told me that there is no gypsy curse to worry about. Then why are you worrying about that? <laughs> you are so weird. But it's okay, I like weird people. Just lift the goblet. I have other matters to attend to. Talk to you later. Goodbye, Dan. Where did you find this? This is Mongoose's wallet. Oh, that. Well, I found it in the cemetery. I hope nothing happened to your friend. If I were you, I would go and investigate it. Don't worry about your stuff. I'll watch over it. I cannot leave the chest alone. I'll wait for Walrus before going to investigate. I hope everything's okay. It looks like Walrus's lucky charm. He never goes out without it. Where did you find this? Um, outside the tavern? Maybe you should go out and investigate about it. Don't worry about your stuff. I'll watch over it. You are right. Something fishy is going on. I better go investigate it. Dan, this is very important. I need you to watch over my stuff. And please don't let anyone manipulate the demon chest while I'm out. Do you understand me? This is very important. Yep, absolutely. You should not worry at all. You are doing the right thing. Goodbye. See you soon. Take your time. Of course I'm going to watch over your stuff. Oh, I can be so charming at times. Now I better act quickly before she returns. Let's see what we've got here. Papers, 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 and here it is. The last key I needed to open the chest. Don't worry, Domingo. I'm here. You're almost out. Just give me a minute to... Domingo! Here you are, buddy. I missed you. Don't worry. I'm here and everything is going to be all right from now on. Um, who are they? Oh, we are the demons of the fifth hell. I'm King Vigo, young one. Now, can you tell me where we are? Sure. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. And you are now in Darkestville. Darkest Villain? Eh? Alright, boys. 
Now that we're free again, let's go have some fun. We're gonna take Darkestville for ourselves and show those pesky humans who's in charge. Hey, but I've released you. You should be following my orders. <laughs> oh, ah, nice joke, kiddo. Thanks for releasing us. I like your attitude, but I'm King Vigo. I don't follow orders. Now, let's move forward. This town isn't going to pillage itself. But... Hmm. Who would have thought that demons would be a bunch of ungrateful scoundrels? Well, the important thing is that you're all right, Domingo. Now let's go home so I can build you a new fish tank. Come on, Domingo. Follow me. Here, boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're pretty smart for a fish. Don't worry. I will make a brand new fish tank for you. You will love it. I'll even build a machine gun on top of it so no one can ever bother you again. Come on, buddy. Just a little bit more. You're pretty fast for a giant fish out of water. That's weird. I don't recall leaving the castle door closed. Who goes there? Oh, it's you. Get off my lawn. What? What? Y your lawn? What are you doing inside my castle? Get out of here. So this was your castle? What? It is my castle. Now open up that door. Nope. Open that door or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the castle in. I don't think so. You don't even have a real mouth. Hey, that was offensive. Thank you. I'll sue you. Do as you wish. I have hordes of undead lawyers under my control. I hope no one just opens the castle door. Well, then you will hate it when I... Hey, wait a minute. Nice try. I almost fell for it. Could you kindly open that door? Nope. Open, 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 open. No, 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 no. Open, 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 open. Look, one of us has to be the mature one. And it isn't going to be me. Open, 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 and open. Oh, in the name of everything that is evil. What annoyance. There must be some way of... Yeah, this should be the lever. 